Chances are, when you need to mark something down on a job site, you're going to reach for this, a carpenter's pencil. But in a lot of job site materials, this just isn't going to cut it. So in this episode of the Tool Hound, I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite marking tools. First one on my list probably won't be a surprise to you. It's a lumber crayon, also called a keel. And this is going to come in handy, on, particularly on framing lumber. The problem is that when these things are in your tool bag, they just tend to crumble and get smashed by other things. So I like to take it and put it inside one of these, which is a, just a giant crayon holder. And this is going to be a great choice for writing on lumber, for marking down cuts, because it shows up really nicely against a nice blonde piece of wood. This one's not going to be a surprise to you. It's a Sharpie permanent marker, although I go a little bit of a step further and I use the Sharpie industrial marker, which writes on more things that are difficult to write on. This is great for all sorts of dry materials that are hard to mark with a pencil. For instance, you'll see a lot of plumbers use this to mark the orientation of a pipe so that when they separate it and go to glue it back together, they know how to line it up. You also see HVAC guys will use this to write on metal ductwork, and I also like it to mark my tools. So for darker materials or pre-finished materials like this pre-finished walnut plywood, a pencil mark is, can sometimes be hard to see. So I like to use grease pencils. Uh, they come in a lot of different colors and you can get these at an art supply store. And it shows up really nice and clean on these dark surfaces. And if you make a mistake, you can still rub it off pre-finished surfaces. This also works great writing on LVLs because of that waxy surface on there. And the nice thing is that it won't come off in the rain, so you can mark your LVLs or your tar paper and just leave it out in the weather and you're good to go. It's also really nice on tar paper if you need to mark where an opening is going to be. So you remember to cut a vent, shows up great. It also works pretty well on wet lumber. Another option for writing on wet lumber are these artist pencils. And you get this at, a, at an art supply store. And they're, they're my choice for when I need to make a nice fine mark. If I'm going to run trim, AZEC trim board, anything like that, I can get a nice clean, bright strike against it. The same pencil also works really well on tile. It makes a nice clean cutout. It'll even work on glass tile. For trim work and fine lines, I use a drafting pencil. It's got a little bit of a thicker lead, and the lead is available in a bunch of different hardnesses. I like it because you can get it to a nice fine tip and it makes a very clean, sharp line. For all around marking and for the price, you're not going to beat a carpenter's pencil. But I'm not leaving home without these guys either. 